Hi, this is Nick Duyor with Denison Yachting in Sausalito. And today we're going to give you a tour of the beautiful Swift Trawler 41 sedan by Beneteau. Come on board. Let's take a look. All right, the first thing you notice on the Swift Trawler is a huge swim step. And this could be outfitted with a Freedom Lift to have a tender off the back. And you step right aboard, there's a hidden teak ladder, really substantial stainless. And look at this giant cockpit here. It's a great entertainer, um, not to mention a very economical and fast cruiser. Uh, but for day boating on San Francisco Bay, we do a lot of that here. Uh, this is really how you're probably gonna be using the boat uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Entertaining friends, family of eight to 10. Um, a really cool feature that Beneteau actually uh, thought of, being again, number one boat builder in the world, they're thinking of everything, listening to their customers. You can slide this back for about a foot and there's a folding teak table and chairs that can actually set right here for cocktails, uh, for dining with friends and family. And it's got a nice one level flow in and out from the salon, bar top up, Party's on, and when you're ready for cruising, you just bring the, uh, the, the transom seat back on the rails system there. Uh, another great feature of this enclosed sedan is the helm door. So it's a three-part door that slides all the way across, and you can close it off. And there's even a really cool side deck door. So if you are dining with friends and family in the cockpit, you can actually close off the breeze so your food and napkins won't blow away. And it's, you know, foul weather, Pacific Northwest cruising, this is gonna be a great option as well. Uh, really beautiful stainless, clear, uh, hard top strut. We'll talk a little bit about that more when we're at the helm, but that has form and function behind it. So the cockpit, being as large it is, as it is, it also has a huge lazarette space. So take a look at this lazarette. Massive storage for fenders, dock lines, your generators down here, main battery switches. Batteries are tucked in nice and safe. Very clean, elegant. Everything's got its place. Uh, Beneteau does a great job of the wire looming and all of that. So it's all tucked in out of the way so you can really get into the storage elements of uh, this Swift trawler. And really that's what it's all about is storage in this boat. Uh, you can see a plethora of cabinetry. We got the white oak option on this boat, nice and light and airy um, with tons of light flooding into the salon here. Um, but storage is really the key. You got trash that's um, you know taken out outside of the boat double sink, convection cooktop and microwave. And really, the uh, one of the cooler features of the boat is the engine access. Under the salon floor, this is a direct drive boat running a twin Yanmar 320. So it uh, has a capability of doing up to 30 mile an hour. High cruise speed is about 22, 24 mile an hour. Uh, what's great about the Yanmars is they just announced a standard five year industry leading factory warranty. So you buy this boat, it's a seven year hull warranty from Beneteau, five year on the mechanical, which is outstanding. Usually you have to pay extra to extend it out that way. They give that to you standard, but super tidy engine room, easy access to all your through hulls, um, all of your safety checks and, and uh, bilge checks before you're underway. Everything nice and tidy there. The sound deadening out of this floor is fantastic. So you don't hear too much of that running gear um, when you're operating the boat from inside the boat. This being a pilot house operated boat, um, you don't have to worry about the engine noise from this uh, compartment. Uh, this is your main battery switching from the boat. So you can turn on and off all of the DC side of the boat uh, just by pushing one button right there. You can lock it out for uh, safety for children. Uh, your main battery switches here. You can check water, fuel, um, turn lights on and off, turn your air conditioning on and off, generator on and off, all through this touchscreen keypad, stereo. And look at this full-size fridge, massive fridge uh, for again, those long trips aboard. Um, more storage down below, ice maker, and all your light switching here, more storage. You got the safe throwable device, 
These are the slatted door option in the white oak. Uh, you can outfit it for just a flush uh, facade, but the slats are kind of a nice classic look. So it is a long range passage making vessel, so storage is key. Uh, even under the uh, salon floor here, you've got a nice shallow compartment. You can put some cradles in there for wine storage if you'd like. Um, oh, and I also, also forgot, behind the fridge is a nice little Easter egg, um, but a lot of boaters don't want to have a TV out. Uh, we outfit all of our new Benetos with TVs, uh, but that's nice and hidden and uh, out, tucked out of the way when you're cruising and don't necessarily want a TV out uh, taking up your you know nice space here or creating or closing off uh, some of your sight lines from the helm. Um, another great option from the factory is we've got the swiveling helm bench. This is so cool. Just lift up and drop, and all of a sudden you are dining out for eight people around this salon table, which is also convertible. You can create this into a bunk and you've got privacy curtains that enclose it. Uh, so you can actually have a four cabin boat, uh, which is great for the kids or the in-laws or grandma, whoever wants to tag along on that trip. Um, but this is a great, great feature. What a practical use of space. Again, coming from Beneteau, number one boat builder in the world, looking out for their customers and listening to their customers every step of the process. Probably my favorite part about this Swift Trawler 41, you, you can't miss it, it's the helm door. And frankly, the gunnel door opens as well. So from a single handing standpoint, this is one of the easiest boats to operate I've ever actually been aboard. Um, so right here from the helm, you've got obviously your electronic uh, fly-by-wire throttle controls, very responsive, um, but you also have a, a very large bow and stern thruster. So if you're coming near the dock, you're gonna get close with your fenders out, your dock lines out. You can literally hop off the boat, grab a line. If you need to make another adjustment on the bow, you can literally do that from the dock. This is a very simple boat. And again, it goes back to using the boat. If it's simpler to use, easier to maintain, easier to operate, everyone's gonna spend more time aboard, more of the family members are gonna wanna operate the boat, you're gonna make more memories, etc. cetera. Um, so, Helm is very, very tidy. Touchscreen uh, plotter here. Another cool feature is you can control all the audio autopilot from these the soft screen here. You can also go home and proprietary to Benito is ship control. So you can actually, kind of like a Sono system in your house, you can control the entire boat from the MFD. They also give you the app on your phone so you can turn lights on and off on your phone. You can turn, let's see, your generator on from the phone. You can turn on the air conditioning plugged in to shore power. You can turn it on right at the MFD. Air conditioning is going to kick on. You can change, you know, the, uh, the music. You can check your state of charge on the batteries. Um, taking a look at the voltage, you know, if you're tied up and you're not running the generator, there's none of that anxiety that you've got a, a voltage drop on your batteries. So very, very cool. You also, from the helm, uh, have all the regular autopilot. Uh, rocker switches here at your control, but on the sedan, this is not the Flybridge model. It's not to say we're not going to bring the outside elements in. We've got a lot of sunlight and air that comes from the electric skylights and the cross ventilation from the helm door mixed with a salon window that opens very easily. Um, the kids love this. You know, they, they like to race around the side decks and poke their head in and out. But from a ventilation standpoint, if you're cooking or if there's diesel fumes, you can aerate the boat in a moment's notice. Why don't we step down below and I'll show you the accommodations. There's three cabins. So going down below on the 41 Swift Trawler, it's a three cabin, two head configuration. So you've got your nice spacious day head here. Uh, we're looking at about 6'4 headroom in there. Um, nice port light that opens up for ventilation, standing shower. Uh, you can get this whole thing wet, uh, drains right into the shower sump. Uh, you also have a couple guest cabins. Uh, this one I like to call the granny unit. You know, it's option with a, uh, an extra mattress uh, for, you know, a, you know, a fifth wheel, so to speak, or grandma wants to come along. It's like an in-law unit. It's pre-wired and pre-plumbed for uh, a washer dryer for those long extended cruises. Um, but that's a nice little guest cabin there with the mattress. And then here you've got your kind of your VIP suite with uh, double singles 
um, and there's even an insert that you can convert into a full. What's great about the Swift trawler you probably saw from the hull sides is the hull side windows. And they're very unique to those hull side windows. A lot of builders are doing that, but very few builders are actually putting in opening port lights so you can get ventilation into the boat, which is fantastic, uh, especially when you're below decks. Going up forward, you've got the primary cabin. Um, nice walk around uh, V-berth here. Uh, what's great about the boat is you have not only your private head enclosed off privately to the rest of the boat, but opposite of their private head, if you've got a private uh, stall shower, it's a really nice teak seating bench on there. Um, each cabin has its own thermostat, touchscreen thermostat for, for the uh, climate control. And this one has a, a mounted TV again that we do standard on all of our Benetos from Denison. Um, but again, you've got the whole side windows with the ventilating uh, port lights that open as well as the overhead escape hatch. Um, and we'll go up to the bow here momentarily. Also storage beneath the floor. Um, these are nice oak floors, but you've got your holding tanks there, sump pumps for the shower, more storage down below, battery bank for the anchor windlass and the bow thruster. And all of the doors and hardware have magnetic catches, which is quite nice. So there's no doors that are flopping around in high seas. Um, it's, it's actually kind of a very sophisticated solution from Beneteau. So here at the helm, uh, you know, if you're spending a lot of time at the helm, your autopilot's gonna be your best friend. Uh, but if you're a little bit shorter, there's another Easter egg here, uh, which is great. You've got a folding platform that you can stand on for visibility, uh, which is fantastic, but it also acts as a footrest to relax your legs if you're spending a lot of time at the helm. Another great feature that's at the helm, and it's subtle, but it's very effective, is this strut that we talked about earlier, it's glass. So there's really, with the amount of glass in the boat, there's no blind spots when operating the boat. And they did that on purpose, not just because it looks cool, but you can actually see right through the strut to the dock, and uh, it, it, it makes the boat pretty much effortless from a single hand standpoint uh, to run out and, and grab the dock lines by yourself. Um, and just going up to the foredeck here, Look at these huge wide side decks. You've got about 16 inches of side deck space. It's subtle, but this is an asymmetrical walk around. So you've got a little less side deck space on the uh, opposite of the helm on the port side. Most of the side deck is covered on the helm side, uh, again, for the captain. And if you ever need to walk around there, you do have ample walk around space. But what that affords you is a wider salon, frankly. They've moved the salon on the port side over about eight inches or so to give you a lot more interior square footage. So for me, that's a great trade-off, great trade-off. So again, if you're cruising around in foul weather, you've got the overhead protection here from the side deck on the helm side, but going up to the foredeck, just a couple stairs. But you notice first thing, you've got the double lifeline. So this boat's extremely safe for kids. I had my kids on, on board the boat over the weekend. They're running around the side decks. I had no blood pressure whatsoever. They had the life jackets on, but these lifelines are really, really safe. Going up forward, you've got the, the, the massive sun pad, really, which has a seat and a ratcheting hingeable backrest, which is great. And you do have a ladder to get up to uh, the hard top. Uh, if you ever needed to clean up top or service any of the electronics, you do have a ladder here that folds walking around up to the anchor lockers. You've got a nice electric windlass here. Um, you can, you've got a windlass remote. You can operate it from the helm up or down. You've got a nice step through here. So if you wanted to go bow to the dock, you can step right onto the dock. Um, but really spacious anchor lockers. All the cleats have chafe guards around them, stainless. There's a rub rail that follows the boat all the way forward and aft. And uh, in terms of the hull shape itself, it is a semi-displacement hull, fast cruiser, um, but it's really stable underfoot. Um, the props are pocketed and uh, you, you feel it underway. It's, it's stable underfoot and it's got some giddy up. The turbos on these Yanmars, like I said, boost this thing up from cruising speed to 30 mile an hour in a, in a blink. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed your private tour of the all-new Benetel Swift Trawler 41 sedan. You can also get the boat in a flybridge. Give us a call at Denison Yachting, and we'll see you out on the water.